Hello guys, welcome to the YouTube channel for Mania. So in today's video, we are doing the camera review of the Galaxy S9 Plus versus the OnePlus Nord. And actually, this video is going to be so interesting and actually this is going to be loved by the Galaxy S9 Plus users and actually I wish the Galaxy Nord users also sees it because actually there is a lot of difference between the cameras of a flagship smartphone which was launched in 2018 versus the latest uh, mid-range flagship of 2020 and uh, I will show the, with the camera samples and everything and before that actually let me quickly go to the camera specifications really quick and on the Galaxy S9 Plus we do get dual 12 MB cameras and this main 12 MB camera is a dual PDF autofocusing camera actually dual PDF actually uses 100% of the pixels in autofocusing instead of just 50 pixels that was used in traditional things and all so it is so fast and rapid in autofocusing and everything and the next main thing is this aperture can switch between f1.5 to f2.4 actually nowadays the latest galaxy note 20 ultra is also fixed aperture but this guy can move the aperture from f1.5 to all the way up to f2.4 that means stunning light shots along with extremely crisp and vivid daylight shots that's the advantage of the dual aperture camera and the next is an ordinary 12 mm telephoto which is capable of 2x optical zoom and 10x digital zoom while coming to the oneplus node we get a awesome four set of cameras wow that's really awesome so we might be thinking that obviously the oneplus node is better but let me wait so guys the first main m camera of the oneplus node is a 48 mp and it's a fixed aperture of f1.8 with 26mm wide camera and the next is an 8MP ultra wide that's missing on this guy so we get a more field of view on the oneplus node and the next is a 5MP depth for almost portrait shots and all and then we get a 2MP dedicated macro i don't think most people will use but yes there are some people who love to use macro shots and all so let's go to the camera So guys, the camera on the OnePlus Nord actually I would say uh, is really uh, different from that of the Galaxy S9 Plus in many ways. So let me quickly open the camera. First of all, I will show the camera UI on both. So guys, this is the first interface when we are getting into the camera. So you can see... Uh, there is an advantage for the ultra wide camera so this is the ultra wide camera we get a much larger field of view over here so guys both on the camera UI so you can see this is the advantage of ultra wide we get a wider field of view over here uh, whereas we just get a very limited area then the, let's go to the normal camera so normal camera and both exactly look the same on both then we get a telephoto so that means the 2x optical zooming with 10x digital zoom of the way up to 10x and same thing goes with here then next zooming and guys then the next thing actually the galaxy s10 plus have very dedicated features that are only exclusive over here that one is a single take feature actually single take feature allows us to take multiple shots that means random photos random videos color filtered photos hyperlapse videos just a single tap over here actually i would say show a demonstration right now so just a uh, sing actually let me move this guys to a little bit over there and just tap over here on the single take feature and then you can see that capturing perfect movements so actually this guy, this one works perfectly fine in outdoor conditions where uh, we can recognize much more uh, details over here but we are now a limited situation so it may not work perfectly fine but if it works perfectly fine then we could get a normal photo color filtered photo random video hyperlapse video and much more so you can see now it's because of the limited conditions it just take three of the videos so one is the fast forward video and the next is a normal video which we are taken and next is a reverse video of what we have taken in addition to this we are getting extras like some color filtered photos some black and white vintage type photos some other dedicated photos with the telephoto maybe and something like that so that's the single take feature so that makes perfectly usable for birthday celebrations so we can't miss any moment so we are getting photos videos random videos hyperlapse videos everything at a single glance and uh, let's move to the oneplus node On OnePlus Nord, actually, I would say we are not getting such features, such a, uh, dedicated features, but we, we do get pro uh, pro photo modes over here. So the Galaxy S9 Plus do also have the pro photo mode over here. See, both of them can manually adjust ISO, white balance, 
then the apertures then the standard of white balancing and all everything we can have manually so the um, pro photo mode is absolutely fine on both but the next thing is the pro video mode actually the galaxy s9 plus have a pro video mode while the uh, one plus note doesn't have any features related to video just we are limited to some just pro on the photo only so i will show you let's go back over here and we can go to more and you can see pro video mode so as we manually adjust on the photo we can same do the same thing on the video too so we can manually adjust the iso aperture standard white balance auto focusing everything in the video so we are getting a pro level videography on this guy so that's really nice then apart from the some uh, dedicated features we are going to some other features like we are getting a what we call and AR zone in the terms of video so we are getting more advantage in terms of video too so we can do AR doodles and little stuff like that so it's absolutely if you like them so in terms of camera I would say the camera performance is really nice on the Galaxy S9 Plus as well as the uh, OnePlus Note but it differs a lot in terms of things so actually the next thing is detail so we can see in normal with if you take a shot the shot comes better on the Galaxy S9 Plus because actually due to the dual pixel autofocus and everything it's more sharp and detailed but if there is an option the one plus code you can see a 12 mb uh sign over here we can just tap over here then it will switch to 48 mb 48 mb offers higher resolution and capture details with more uh, more and more details so that's a great thing so if we capture something in 48 mb then it's going to be so stunning and it's we can zoom in further and further so that's 48 mb dedicated mode is so nice but actually on every situation it won't works perfectly fine uh, in some situations where it's ambient light and conditions in some artificial conditions it don't works perfectly fine but in normal daylight in outdoor condition it's almost works perfectly fine now let me show some camera samples really quick so go to the gallery on both camera so this is the first shot which is taken on both so you can see there's a whole lot difference in the color first of all we can first impression is the color so you can see the green leaves over here but actually you can see almost a pale colors leaves actually uh, if i was gonna be true then i would say the leaves color was almost real like on the oneplus note but actually it's very saturated very vibrant and vivid that means colors are just popping out of the display i would say on the galaxy s10 plus you can see the green are so much deeper and thick so it's absolutely based on your personal preference so if you like punchy sharp vivid colors then the galaxy s10 plus is for you and if you like almost near like near nature like colors or actually i would say as a pale color actually almost pale not punchy but smooth and almost like the iphone colors and all so the one plus over there takes the lead so actually i would say i really personally like the colors of the galaxy s10 plus it's so punchy and you can observe the leaves if you observe the leaves really quick so let me show off the same area so you can see the difference in both guys so there is a whole lot difference between the uh, cameras on both because the colors you can see the colors so really well let me lower the brightness a bit so you get a better view i hope it's more clear right now and let me zoom out a bit to give you an idea so guys now you can see the main difference between these cameras actually the saturation and uh, the color accuracy is so much great and actually well one more thing is this is taken on the 12 mb mod i didn't switch the 48 mb and if i switch uh zoom further more actually both the galaxy s9 plus is zoom just far ahead of that uh, 12 mb on the um one plus note so you can see this much only zooming is available so at this zooming level the galaxy s9 plus is obviously better you can see and uh, let's go to the next pick so this is the portrait mode guys and uh, if you look the portrait mode actually i would say see um the edge detection and everything both are good but actually i won't say as perfect actually there are some uh, edge detection issues on both on the galaxy s10 plus it's uh, you can see here are some 
uh, that edge detection is not done really well at the edges of the leaves but actually still at a glance we may feel like right and over here also we have some issues on the uh, small leaf over here the not edge detection is not perfectly done but actually at a glance that's an uh, let's uh, think as a normal user as a normal user this both are really nice but actually the same goes with the colors actually the colors are very punchy and vivid on this guy versus uh, more like a pale uh, natural looking color on the one plus as at a glance you can observe it's really close and if i zoom into you can see the difference on both so the same part of that leaves on both and you can ob observe it really close so that's then going to the next pick adds another uh, portrait mode and also i think over here the edge detection is uh, more nicely done on the one plus rather than the galaxy s9 plus on galaxy s9 plus the leaves are a bit uh over blurred and uh, the detection is was really poor on the galaxy s9 plus but actually it was pretty much nicely done on the one plus and you can see but still the colors actually it is absolutely based on the your personal preference i could say so the color leaves are entirely different actually more like a real like nature on the one plus and versus a punchy vivid color on the uh, galaxy s9 plus and uh, let me go move to the next so guys the next would be a video so actually in this video actually i'm gonna be show some stabilization and the clarity of that video so let me uh, turn them on So actually I was uh, taking this video while I was running. So three, two, one and go. So you can see both of them. And actually the super steady mode was on on the one plus node, but it's not available on the Galaxy S9 plus. But still you can see both are uh, damn smooth. But actually I would say that the one plus node was a uh, slightly better in uh, no. Yeah, yes, it is slightly better with the more uh, actually it is manages the videos more stabilized rather than the Galaxy S9 Plus. It's more some more shaky than the OnePlus Nord. If you observe it really close, let me play it once more. So you can see no autofocusing issues on both. Both are working perfectly fine. No issues with the Galaxy S9 Plus because of the dual pixel autofocus and all. The OnePlus Nord also handles it very perfectly fine. So you can see over here. It's more uh, like a bit more shaky in the Galaxy S10 Plus where it's not handles perfectly fine. And let's move to the next. And next. So guys, this is the 48 MB shot which is uh, taken on the OnePlus versus the normal 12 MB on the Galaxy S9 Plus. And uh, let me zoom off. I'm just zooming close over here and actually if you observe really close uh, zooming is a bit more higher on the galaxy s9 plus uh, if still compared with the 48 mb mode on the one plus i don't know the exact reason why uh, but actually see if you observe really close the colors oof, actually i could mention the colors actually really very much difference actually we may think that it's not the same photo which is actually i took the exact same one but actually if you take a glance you may think that it's entirely different photo but the, it's not like that it's exactly the same position and the same photo and uh, it's a lot difference guys lot difference and uh, so so let me zoom uh, at the same time on both sorry so guys actually i would say uh the 48 mb offers more like a detail over here whereas actually this uh, how, if i zoom it further the galaxy s9 plus is more like a soft and nature but actually the uh 48 mb on the oneplus node is more like refined and the uh, you can see the leaves sharp and so sharp and in detail so actually the 48 mb is a great advantage over here but actually we can't zoom further 
it limits us as this level but on the galaxy s10 plus we can go in further and further till that end so that's an advantage but still uh, i really like the 48 mb mode is absolutely a win for the one plus except that i really go for the go with the galaxy s9 plus due to its colors and all actually it's upon you which color do you like if you like vibrance then galaxy s10 plus if you like real like nature or close inspired actually it's really it's really close to what you see with your naked eyes that's exactly the one plus that's but actually uh or galaxy s10 plus it's so well uh what we call uh vibrant and vivid colors and now let's quickly go to a video so let me play a video at the same time three two one go so videos on both So you can see again the colors are uh, different actually i already mentioned so that's the zooming on both so you can see the galaxy s9 plus uh, zooms a bit uh, nicer than that of the one plus in my opinion actually if you anyways you guys are the judge you can see over here both pretty much does the job nice in videos too the diff difference in the colors is significantly large guys so you can see both and both are stunning in the normal ways and if you see the leaves tip on both yes obviously better on the galaxy s9 plus the node just smoothens when we zoomed into the 10x mode and all so you can see so that's a significant difference in terms of the rear camera uh, between both anyways you guys are the judge and you can decide which uh, one do you like so if you are more like a one who uses the 48 and be more than the one plus node could be better and if you are a normal user who always just takes at what you are at and then the galaxy s9 plus and uh, based on the colors and also now let me switch to the front camera so guys, this is a short taken on the front camera on the Galaxy S9 Plus and actually I think the front camera is better on the OnePlus Nord obviously for OnePlus Nord actually I really like the 32 MB front camera along with a 8 MB ultra wide camera and actually with the software enhancement the Galaxy S9 Plus can also do the 8 MB and let me zoom so you can see the 38 MB advantage is so high whereas it's just not up to the mark the galaxy s10 plus actually it's a clear win for the one plus node in terms of area and uh, this is an 8 mb shot so this is with the help of the software it takes the uh ultra wide that means a light ultra wide but this is with the 8 mb dedicated secondary camera over here for travel actually the 8 mb is not that detailed but actually we get a more field of view over here still the one plus node is better on terms of ultra wide and all so guys uh i was always almost close to that point actually if you are really thinking which one is a professional grade camera and all i would obviously say it's the one plus it's no, sorry it's not the one plus it's obviously the galaxy s9 plus but actually if you're a selfie maniac who takes more selfies rather than the rear cameras then the one plus node is better for you then it depends upon you what you is your personal preference if you like punji colors or real life colors and if you like what all options do you like in a phone that means uh, varied tons of customization that means pro video mode and much more like the features are on the galaxy s10 plus versus almost like a neutral on the one plus node so it's upon you guys uh, so if you ask me which one i would pick in terms of camera then i would really say i like the galaxy s10 plus rather than the one plus node so guys that's all regarding the camera review between the galaxy s10 plus versus one plus node so that's all guys thank you